Hey y'all, I'm Jessica and welcome to The Sims 4 Pleasant Sister Makeover with the lovely Angela and Lilith. Hope you guys enjoy. And if you are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It does just help our little village to grow. And make sure you hit that bell and send you notifications so that you never miss one of my videos. And go ahead and give this video a big sweet thumbs up. Hey, my little ray of sunshines. <laughs> Hope you like that little new intro. No, I'm just kidding. But I thought it was cute. Uh, just to toss into the new year, it's officially January 4th, and I'm just so excited for a brand new year, a fresh start. And I figured, why not give Angela and Lilith pleasant makeovers for the brand new year? Because, oh my gosh, they have been here for so long. They've been like, I mean, like, probably like Bella and, you know, Mortimer Goth, like they need a makeover too. Like they just, they need a little bit freshen up in their life. They need some more color. They need some more vibrancy. So we are starting off with the lovely Angela Pleasant. And seriously, her makeover does not take me long to do whatsoever. Probably like a good uh, three minutes, and she's done. Of course, you know fast speed. Of course, she's more of the girly girl next door kind of natural look. Uh, compared to her sister, which we'll get to in a little bit, but I am obsessed with these two girls. Like seriously, their makeovers are so good. Uh, not to toot my own horn, but I guess I kind of am. But I don't know. There's just something about these two that are just wow. Like they're good. Yeah, you did a good job. These two are stunners. And let me just say that these two could totally totally pull off brown hair like when I was doing the trying to find like the different hairstyles that I wanted to use like wow I got to brunette and I was just like ah, um these two are about to be brunettes because they look freaking amazing but for their outfits it is just super basic I really did like this hocus pocus shirt it was really really cute and her sleepwear is nothing fancy. It's just kind of like a little robe. It looks super cute though. It's still kind of girly and got that like chic going on. So I just figured it fit her style to a T. And her party wear, like she's not the kind of person I feel like that's going to be like over the top and have like an amazing like Gucci mama dress or something. Like I feel like she's like more down to, you know, relax kind of party vibe but still look super elegant and classy. So I went with these little nice pop of color blue pants and the little blue flats that was on. Now I realized when I was going through the swimwear that I, my CC for swimwear sucked apparently. Like I don't know what happened to it, but I had to get rid of it, all of it once I get done doing this. And so I just had to stick her with an EA swimsuit which was very much an unfortunate but you know it is what it is and for her hot weather wear I went with this more plaid dress and look at it I thought it was just so freaking cute and her winter look oh my gosh guys like I love it here in a minute you'll see that I changed the color of the dress I love that Carmelo color like oh my gosh like it just looked so freaking good and I know like it is a little bit more legs to show in winter time than probably what people would obviously do but I figured maybe that it doesn't get too cold in the summertime so here we are with her sister Lilith Pleasant who is like the total freaking opposite she is more of the gothic vibe and let me tell you something she is stunning like I really really like Angela but Lilith whew, I mean, she takes the whole cake, guys. She is drop dead gorgeous. I love, love, love her makeover. I love her vibe. I love her clothes. I love her outfits. I love everything about her. So right now we're just obviously tweaking her just a little bit. Um, her lips weren't matching up to her sister's that quite, but you know, I figured even though they are twins, that maybe they just have a little bit of differences to each other. So eventually I do just leave the lips alone and move on. And this hair, I wanted this hair so bad. And see, look there, you can see that brunette looks so good. It looks so good. But obviously, we have to go with more of the gingery vibe. So, I really took me a long time. And I wanted to show you guys just like the 
different options that she could totally pull off. I mean, I have never seen a Sim that could pull off so much hairs as Lilith can, but dang, she can. So here's the hair that I actually go with. It's the one that looks phenomenal with her. And unfortunately, her eyebrow piercings, they do go away when I put on her beautiful black necklace. And I totally did not realize that until I already had my thumbnail done. I already had this video pretty much edited and just had to do the voiceover. I realized like, oh my gosh, her eyebrows piercings are gone. And to talk about the tattoo, that was just two seconds back before that because it goes by so fast. Yes, she does have a beautiful back tattoo and I gave it the one side white, one side black. It totally just fits their vibe. I figured that like maybe one of the wings could be like, like the white wing could be like her sister Angela and the black wing could be like her just because it's like they're total opposites when it comes to like, you know, their personalities and personas, but when they come together, they form something so beautiful. You like that kind of irony? I do too. It's like cool beans. <laughs> so here we are with her formal wear and her formal wear is to die for. I mean, look at that. Woo! So good looking. And I gave her the ponytail off to the side because it needed to show off her beautiful back tattoo, which it does, and I love it. And her athletic wear is super basic, black on black, like her soul. No, I'm just kidding. So I really didn't notice until I was actually editing her that she is a slob. Uh, so <laughs> her outfits do not reflect the slob trait. Like she's very put together. Her makeup is snatched and flawless and just everything about her is just not slob material at all. But you know, um, Maybe she's just very well skilled in makeup skills, unlike some people like me. <laughs> and for her party wear, I wanted something that kind of reflected what she had on. So I did go more with like the fishnets and it just looks really good. I just threw on some black boots and went on and every single outfit does have some nail polish because I figured the girls needed a little something, something added to their nails and why not it looks so good so yes all of her nails are black for every one of her outfits that she does have right now we're just tweaking her makeup a little bit i realized i needed to put some more blush on obviously she needed her eyelashes on and i do go ahead and i change her hair so let me just go ahead and mention her hair because it is totally different so it's more of this like slick back kind of just like cool version and you'll see it here in a second i get to it there you go here it is i just love this i don't know what it is about it but it just looks so good so for her swimwear like i said in the previous one i did not have any custom content in cc that looked amazing but fortunately for me i did find this one that i had and it was this mermaid swimwear and i don't know i just feel like it fit perfect with her vibe so yeah, I just stuck it on her and you know what? It looks so good. And then for the lovely hot weather wear, I wanted something that was very form fitting like the one that she did have on. But then I found this little number and I was like, you know what? Yeah, you're totally rocking this dress. Like, I'm sorry, like, but it looks so good on you. Like you can pull this off and still look freaking amazing. And I gave her more of like the sweet glossy look and it just looks so stunning. And for the winter wear, she had on this like beanie and I really did want to keep it. So the hair that I've been using like for a lot of her outfits just looks really good with this beanie and it actually goes well. And here you can see that her eyebrow piercings are there. Um, <laughs> and they, I think they do stay there because I don't think I put a necklace on her. And then I found these cute little trousers that had like the chain coming from them and it just looks, I don't know, it looks really cute. And I just stick on an Adidas shirt and it just looks amazing. Everything looks put together. I just, oh my gosh, guys, these are my favorite. I'm sorry. I hope you like their makeovers there. They are just amazing. Make sure you stay tuned for the little slideshow that I have of like their different outfits so you can see how different they are between EA and my version. And if you are new to my channel, obviously make sure you do hit that subscribe button. It does just help our little village to grow and make sure you hit that bell. It sends you notifications so that you never miss one of my uploads and make sure you give this video a big sweet thumbs up. I hope you guys are just having an amazing weekend. 
love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to sit here with me and watch my crazy, silly self. I love you guys just so much for that. You all have no idea. But I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Mwah.